Gloria. Nice to meet you. Mr. Nova. Nice, nice to meet you. Um, my name is Wayne. I'm the executive chef here at the Leadway Hotel. And I trust you're going to enjoy your time here with us. Absolutely. Please follow me. Hey, look who's here. <laughs> wow, it's so good to have you guys with us today. Thank you for making our time to see us and spend good quality time with us. Thank you very much for inviting us. Well, me, I'm very happy to be here. At least to see my guy again. You know. <laughs> we are celebrating our 18th wedding anniversary. That's right. And we thought which better way to do that than with people we really hold dear. Yeah, yeah. And also, we also want to find out those cultural values that help marriages to succeed mm. and the kind of influences that also help or mar marriages. So, uh, but before then, I think we need the chef to take our order. What yes. Do you My name is Esike Basu. I'm chef. I'm here to introduce to you today's chef special. I have stuffed chicken breasts, stuffed with the spinach and vegetable, and feta cheese, and also homemade banga fruit and a uh, bang Oh, wow. I'm decided. <laughs> you are decided I already. Banga soup and the pounded yams. Oh, okay. Now, I think I'll go with my husband. I'll go with I'll you. I'll roll with you. Oh, oh Peter, I'm rolling with you guys. <laughs> Correct. We are here to prepare special banga soup. This is banga fruits from palm fruit. And here the one that's been mashed to go with the soup. We have here stockfish to go in this. Soup is ready to eat. Oh, 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 we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, I wish I could sing like Santa Claus. However, have yourself a wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year. Zach, what would you say? Let me even start with you. What would you say? Uh, has helped to keep us together, talking about our cultural values. Where I come from, Igbos hold marriage very dear. And um, it's, and again, my orientation as a Catholic is also another factor, especially in the, from the east where I come from. So you find out that when an evil woman or evil couple get married in a Catholic church, you're going to think twice about anything that would make you break that vow. Considering that it is so deep rooted. But however, these days that that in this new generation, I'm not sure it holds water with the new Yes. Okay, what do you think? Incidentally, uh, I, um, we have similarities. As a Catholic also, we place very high premium on marriage. Exactly. And um, as an Urobo man, even if we are polygamous, like I suspect every other tribe is. Mm. Most tribes. Yeah. yeah, but we still take very, very seriously the institution of marriage. It's, it's a very serious institution. Yes. And, and you see, when when your wife has that kind of background also yes. then of course marriage is something that you don't play with. Mm -mm, yeah. it's it's a, it's a very serious institution ordained by god we all know that yeah and then if you look at african society itself even when a, a, a woman is widowed She's still giving to somebody else as the husband within the family. Within the family, yes. Who takes care of her? In which case, it is an extension of the respect we have for the institution called marriage. Yeah. You know, you don't allow a woman who was married 
and then you let her go uh, hungry because her husband died. You, 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 you put out the care of somebody else. So that's the way I see marriage to where I come from. Robots don't joke, we are very, very, we, we respect marriage institutions seriously, you know. But fortunately, or uh, fortunately, you're married to a woman who is not a robot glow. From your point of view, <laughs> are, there, are there cultures that don't really take marriage seriously? I doubt if there's any Nigerian culture that doesn't take it seriously. Mm. I just think that we have imbibed so much of this um, the outside world that we're beginning to get very confused about what marriage is. Yeah, And I think that's what we should really watch out for. And that's why you see a lot of people who have gotten to 15, 18, like yours, yeah. 20 years are really celebrated. Because for them to be able to keep their marriage in this day and age is not easy. Especially if they get confused. Uh, when you say confused, you see all kinds of things on television. Yeah. Um, you get to hear stories about how this person is, is breaking up her marriage because her husband just doesn't understand her. Or, you know, some, mm. things, some things that are pretty silly. Very I silly. They are silly, really. Mm -hmm. Myopic, that's the word, you know. So mm. I think um, that's basically it. Things are getting. Our culture is being imbibed, it's being mixed up with, with so other people's culture. Many other cultures, especially mm. the white man's own. Yes. That we begin to forget the whole idea, we forget our values, our yeah. norms, yeah. and then we get confused. But let me ask mm. what about the pressure of contemporary living? Mother is at work, father is at work, she comes back late, she probably does not have that time to serve the man. The way she would ordinarily yeah, even done. cook for him. Yeah, serve him as in cook, take care of him, and do all of that. So she comes home tired, just like the man. And then some of us will be like, "You're tired, I'm tired." So who goes to the kitchen? Yeah, it, it, that's very interesting because it, it takes a lot of maturity to be able to handle such a situation. That's yes. right. You know, the woman is working. She faces the same traffic like you. Yes. She gets home probably later than you did. Yes. Because you are a man, you, got, you could be a smarter driver. Yeah. You could be a smarter driver. Mm -hmm. And then you get home like 30 minutes before she does. And then she comes home and you say, with where's my, my food. Where's my food? Well, <laughs> because, so because the Bible says a woman should submit, I think it's just a guideline. Yeah. We have our own brains. God created us yeah. with brains. Yeah, yeah, that's now, going to. Yeah. You, you can grumble, oh, this is your work, self. I wait till every day I go to cook for myself. You go stop this work, oh, meanwhile, you are preparing the food. The food yeah. So, you know, you know, that kind of, you must rake. Man must rake. So it makes life issue. easy. So, it's but good we, for the man to also help out. The man knows that she's going through that. Now, this is Neka Isaac Moses of Gogi Africa wishing you a Merry Christmas. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. This has been so interesting. Okay, the first thing we are getting today yeah. mm. is peace for the starter is on its way. Okay. Please, let's have some starter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to the meal. Oh, the chef is here. Yes, mm. I, I just cited him. Okay. Mm. This is from me, special to you. Mm. Wow. Mm. The stuffed chicken breast mm. on bed of vegetable. Mm. Stuffed wow. with uh, spinach and feta cheese. Mm. So mix carrot and eat. You have green marrow and carrot there, and then parsley on top. You go with cheese sauce there. Wow. Thank you so very much. This is just yes. special, huh? And I like uh, some of uh, my special with mashed potatoes. With mashed potatoes? Mmm. Yeah. After yeah. we chop this one, we chop the food again. Chop the food. Nice. Enjoy it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. very much. Thank you. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you an African Christmas. This is Neka. Keep it locked on Gogi Africa. And do have yourself a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Part of our culture, I know like my grandfather had more than one wife. It's mm. like a uh, not culture. Culture says that uh, an African man can have more than one wife. So, are you ready for your husband to bring in another woman into the house? Mm -hmm. So, you don't that's like that part, part of, of the, the culture? culture. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, that's not a good answer, really. Okay. That's, you see, you see man, it, 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 for, for worry, we don't say body the phone person. Yeah. Yes, so. Okay. It said behind every successful man, mm -hmm. there is a woman. Yes. A woman. Mm. That's a right. Woman. Behind every unsuccessful man, Uncle. There are women. Men. There are. 
women. That's right. So now, body the phone person. <laughs> culture is right for me. Culture is not wrong. Yeah. yeah. Because waiting people take from certain culture, we can never understand. True. Yeah. Okay. Now, when I look my pockets. Bros, no bar, no, no pepper. Phone, but the phone I'm Only, but you don't phone me. I say, bros, respect the one way you get. That just respect yourself and stay there. Yeah. So it's not a matter of that. They tell person. That's right. You go know within you. Say, bros, not go there. You go window. You know, I have a feeling that yes, the reasons why uh, our fathers, grandfathers married more than one wife was yeah. more economical than the culture. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. No, some of them they did it too. It. Some of them did it too for. For, to help, yes, they to needed, help certain they needed families. They extra hands, no? They needed extra, extra hands at the farm, farm yes, mm -hmm. without having to pay that money that they didn't have. Oh, okay. this is uh, so they decided. To, okay. Oh, wow. Hmm. Nice. Wow. It looks good. It looks, it looks good. good. It looks really, it looks really, really good. Good. Well, it's grounded lamb. Yeah. Let's yeah. start with our lady guests. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm. Mm. And we yeah. serve my husband. Yeah. No, okay, I'll give it back to you. Ah, it's <laughs> 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 it's <laughs> mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't mess. Okay, so, so as I was saying, I said, um, I think they were doing it then because there wasn't any other means of helping themselves in the farm. Everybody had a farm. Everybody. Had, so who was going to be the one to help you in your farm when they have their own farm? So yes, they marry more wives, so they marry have more a lot wives, of children, and more children. Each wife is having like 10, 10? to 12 children. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so as they, and they grow keeping, up to go to the farm, they're growing yeah. up and going to the farm. They're, they're, not, the they're not going they're to school, they're not paying school fees. Until they're much school later. Fees. Until much later, they now realize that they needed to train their children. Yeah. They decided to train the boys only. So the girl, because they fi figured that, why should I train a girl? She's going to answer another person's name. name. She's, She's going to not be married going to be helpful off. to me. You know, so let's, not, let's not blame culture for that, I beg. The culture did not say people, for example, people will say uh, when, when a man dies, mm -hmm. his people, his brothers will take his property. No! Exactly. What and the culture the said people. is if the children are still young, then the brother should hold those property in trust, in trust until the children are big enough, that, old enough to take over their property. That's not right. That but people will say the, the family will take yeah. that, send the woman away. That's not culture. That's it's not very culture. wrong. It's not our culture. Yeah. Our, our, our culture is not that insensitive. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's yeah, go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Go for your. Take your own. I'll do mine. Just okay. take your own. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, How are you? Fine. Good. Thank you. Um, Pretty Hotel Lead, on behalf of Pretty Hotel Leadway, we want to say thank you for encouraging, in the spirit of encouraging the family and love. We want to present you with this um, breakfast voucher. Go 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 Africa. 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 It's the only thing I want to hear. It's the only thing I want to say. Go get Africa. It's for Africa and it's about Africa. Go get Africa for Africa. <laughs> Africa. Wow. This banga soup is really something else. Mm -hmm. All right, viewers, while we enjoy the meal, stand by now for sights and sound. Don't you go away. For indigents of Enuguku community living in Lagos, the end of year celebration will for a long time be an event to remember. An industrious group that contributes to the development of their hometown and their host communities. These developmental achievements are coordinated under an umbrella body called Enuguku Community Development Union, ECDU, Lagos. This is a periodical event. It comes up once in a year 
and the whole essence is for the indigenous friends and well wishers of Enugu town to gather and celebrate, to gather and thank God for sustaining them all through the year is also a time when friends, relatives who has lost contact, who has lost touch to come together. It's inherent in us to do good. It's inherent in us to progress. It's inherent in us to come together and pursue one goal. And that goal is the joint upliftment of our community. We built a, a general hospital and donated it to the government in 1962. That was the year I was born. And it's the biggest general hospital in Anambra State today. We built a community civic center in Enugu, and it became the first and the biggest community center of the whole eastern in the whole eastern region. Once every year, the Lagos branch of the ECDU treats its members to a get together held at its Unity Center complex in Amuwa Dothi area of Lagos. The colorful event witnessed the gathering of sons and daughters of Enogoku in their splendor. The symbolic entrance of His Royal Majesty, Iwe Raf Ekbe, as Enogoku Iwe Umunri, the Royal Father of the Day, kick-started the proceedings. Then came cultural dances. Traditional rites and blessings of subjects were equally observed by the royal father. <laughs> The climax was a presentation of awards to deserving indigents and induction of some prominent indigents of the town into the Hall of Fame for their outstanding contributions to the development of the community. <laughs> We spoke with some prominent people from Enugu and they had this to say. Enugu is very peaceful. Citizens of Enugu, when you look at them, that is why a lot of non indigenous people from afar are coming to take women from Enugu as wives. Because the character, they are not so much about things of the world. Enugu people are very progressive people. And when you come to Lagos, okay, you can see the environment where we are now. We are in Amuwadofu. We have six plots of land in Amuwadofu, of which we built our town hall on two plots. And we have four plots for parking in Amuwadofu. A plot of land in Amuwadofu is 50 million. And we have six plots of land. So you can, you can imagine that kind of investment. And we've almost finished with this one, and we are looking forward to further development. It was a celebration for lives, unity and development of the historic town Enugu. Every indigenous of Enugu has every cause to be proud of his ancestral home.
Oh, yeah. For those of you that love to travel a lot like I do Ooh. and taste different dishes, mm -hmm. stand by now for travel tips. Here are Gogi Africa six travel tips on how to enjoy yourself on a long bus ride. Bring fun things to do. Make sure you have enough to entertain you for however long you are riding on the bus. Good things to bring include music player, books, tablets or laptop computer. Engage yourself. Look out the window at the scenery or talk to other people. Keep a calm mentality about the bus ride. This is harder than it sounds, but when mastered, it is a big help in many areas of life. Avoid snapping at or arguing with fellow bus members. This will only make the trip dramatic and uncomfortable for everyone. Stretch. As mentioned above, the bus does make a few stops. So try and get off a few times to stretch your legs. And finally, make sure you wear a comfortable footwear. Bon voyage. Well, it was nice hanging out with you guys. You so well, much. viewers, you've heard it. Um, marriage is not a competition. And we all have a role to play when it comes to raising our children and passing on the right um, attitude, the right values to the next generation.